Hello, in this video, I am going to go over a few ideas of multiple linear regression. So now this data set is a modified data set from the STAT2 uh, website, the math placement data set. Specifically, I will put a link to this data set in the description box below. But let's say I want to run a multiple linear regression model. Let's say of the math placement exam score, so placement score. And I want to see if I could predict that math placement score based on, let us do the gender, rank, and size. So we're going to go to stat, regression, multiple linear. The y, call, the y variable is going to be the one that we're trying to predict that placement score. And I want based on gender and the size of the high school class and the adjusted GPA. So we're trying to predict the math placement score based on gender, size, and adjusted GPA. Clicking on compute will give us that multiple linear model, specifically here on the third line, um, at the parameter of negative 52.3318 plus 4.6978 times gender plus 0 0.0054 times size plus 2.2979 times the adjusted GPA. We can determine that this multiple linear model is indeed significant by checking in the analysis of variance table. We have a p-value of zero, less than 0 0.001. Uh, no matter what level of significance we use, be it 1%, 5%, 10%, 0.00 Zero 01 is going to be less than that. So the multiple linear regression model is indeed significant. But if we look at the table uh, parameter estimates table here and these p values that we have, right, specifically looking at um, not the top one, we don't care about the intercept, but looking at the gender, size, and G adjusted GPA p values. In order to simplify this model, we would want to take out any that are above 5%. Looking at the biggest one, though, the p-value for that being size, this is greater than 5%. So because that's greater than 5%, which we can also see is also very low in our model here, we could get rid of that particular variable to try to simplify our model. And in doing so, when we get rid of that, we get rid of size. So we just want gender and adjusted GPA. We can rerun the test. Doing so now provides a totally different multiple linear regression line of negative 49.0496. Plus 4.7559 times gender, plus 2.2593 times the adjusted GPA. Again, this model is significant since the p value is still less than 0 0.0001. But now, if we try to simplify the model again, the gender GPA is above 5%, and, or any level of significance, and so is the adjusted GPA. But since the gender one is the biggest, that is going to be less than, no matter if we use 1%, 5%, or 10%, we could say that gender is indeed going to be significant. So is the adjusted GPA. So now this multiple linear regression line is completely significant. Thank you.